Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video we're going to be exploring the Hayes Lab. I've left a list of things you'll need in the description below. It's quite a long list so you'll want to take a look at that. And uh, before we go, I'm just going to build a smithing station so I can upgrade a few items. I'm not upgrading them much, I'm basically just repairing them. The haze is not exactly easy, so we want to go in with the best equipment possible. We don't want anything to be damaged or break while we're in there. I am using the ladybird armor. It's the toughest armor set I've got at the minute. And I'm going to be using the ant club as well, for the same reason. So to get to the haze lab, you'll want to head this way past the baseball and you'll come to this ravine filled with toxic gas. So if you follow the edge of that ravine round, you should come to this point here and you'll see some raw science up there next to the field station. In front of this field station, there is an explosive spore. So you'll need your tier two insect axe to chop that down. Inside the field station itself, we've got a document and a couple of granola bars. So when you come out of the field station, you'll want to head left up this hill. We're going to the big yellow gas canister. There'll be a few mites up here, but just run past them. You don't need to deal with them right now. And if you go past the carton of juice, you'll come to a husky weed stem down here. So when you see that, you can jump down. And the haze lab is right there. So this is where you'll need your brat burst bomb. Make sure you stand back when you throw it so it doesn't bounce off the door and come back at you. There we go. So head inside and use the biometric scanner. At this point you can actually take off your gas mask and equip your ladybird helmet if you want, but I forgot. Okay, and inside we've got some brittle marble shards there and some fiber bandages and some quartzite. And we've got a tape over here. Right. And always, there's a document on the table. The me. In this chest, we've got the some more quartzite. But if I pack it up now, and I we've got some water there. No the kids. No so, continuing there. on. The down I'm this here, corridor, the we've got a Taze T. So let's deal with him. And over here on the right, we've got a couple of granola bars and another tasty. So we don't want to go through that door just yet. We want to carry on around here. On the right, we've got a tape. And through this door, there's a lot of explosive spores, so you'll need your insect packs again to chop them all down. Just be really careful, you don't want to get trapped in there when they explode. We can't quite reach this one from this side, so we'll have to go around and get it from the other side. In the back left corner, we've got some raw science, along with another spore. We should be able to get this one here. Yep. And one more here. And behind this one, we've got the Weevil figurine. Okay, so open this door. On the table, we've got some brittle quartzite and some granola bars. Pull that lever. And in the chest we've got more marble and quartzite. So I think we're done in here. So if we head back out, 
we can open the next door. Now through here we've got some infected weevils. But you don't actually have to kill them. They're kind of kamikaze weevils. So if you just get close enough to trigger them and then stand back, they should kill themselves. There we go. So around this corner here, it's a bit dark, I'll just put a light on. Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. We've got some raw science. And next to that, there's some bones here. So we've got the Special Forces Journal, Suspicious Snapshot 3, and the Defense Badge. Some more spores in here, let's get rid of them. And continuing on, we'll follow these lights down here. Swim through here, and we want to go left. Got another document there, and some more granola bars. You might want to save here because on the other side of this door is the infected ladybird. So I'm going to take her out with the she ant club. There we go, she wasn't that tough. And we got the truffle tussle mutation, which basically gives you a chance of dealing explosive punches. All right, so we've got another spore over here we'll need to chop down. And we'll scan this biometric scanner. I put my torch out first. At this point I realized I was still wearing my gas mask, so let's switch back to the ladybird helmet. Better safe than sorry. Behind this door there are a bunch of mites. Uh, when I peeped them, it said they were weak to slashing, so I chose the larva blade, but it wasn't very effective. I actually found these mites more difficult than the infected ladybird. So I'm not sure if the ant club would have been a better choice for them. It did take a lot of damage and it took a long time to kill them. But I managed it. Okay, so heading through this door, we've got a tape there. Some marble and quartzite lying around. There's a super chip and the duper disc. More marble. We've got three brat bursts on the shelf here. And three granola bars as well. Okay, so heading back out, we are going to put on our bubble helmet and our fin flops. And we'll equip our slime lantern. I also just cleared out some rubbish from my backpack there because it was full. So you'll need your bone dagger here to cut through some soggy root. And then you're going to need the bone trident to take on some enemies. You could fight them with the bone dagger, but the trident is just a bit stronger. He has a bit more damage. Okay. And continuing through the tunnel, we've got some more soggy root, so we'll need our bone dagger to cut through that. And here we've come to a tea bend with some water fleas as well. So we'll take care of those, and you can actually breathe up here, there's some space there if you need the air. So we want to go left here down this tunnel. And there's some more soggy root. And some more water fleas. It's 
So just up here we've got the final piece of soggy root. And behind that we've got raw science, a mega milk molar and the sewage scabby scheme. Here we go. So now you just want to head back to the tea bend. Take a breath and we'll go left here. Got some more water fleas here. And if we continue straight, it should lead us up to the exposed pipe. There we go. So this has brought us out next to the sandbox on the east side. So let's head to Burgle to give him the super chip that we picked up. Always happy, pal. Can I help you? My dear, what 2,500 raw signs for that. Let's see what it's unlocked. Advanced production buildings. That unlocks the oven recipe. We definitely want that. We got feather roofs, cookbook haze, sign set daydream, and acorn turret. They're all quite expensive and not really necessary right now. But I will take the splat burst recipe. And I will take the multi-story bases as well. It's only a thousand and it lets us build stairs and things. It's really quite useful. I should have bought it sooner really. We also picked up a mega milk molar so I think I'll increase the max arrow stack size again. And we picked up a duper disc so let's put that in the machine. That should increase our processing limit again. Yep, we're up to 20,000 now. And with that, I think we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Join me in the next one where I'll be getting some tier 3 armor and tools. See you then.